how to make waves to supersize your business. And no, you don't have to be a pirate to make it happen. Sharon Elstrom here, and our idiom today is to is make waves. It's to make waves. And make waves is an American idiom from the earliest 20th century, early 20th century. Can't talk today with my little boat jingling. Uh, and it means, of course, to upset, to cause trouble, to um, cause a disturbance. Because if you've ever been in a boat, if you've ever been fishing or anything, you know that I, we used to fish. So in a fishing boat, you want the boat to be smooth. And somebody will come by in a speedboat or on a jet ski, and they, they mix the water all up, and you're bumping in and grunting rolling with the waves and sometimes if you're on a big lake you get sick to your stomach and turn green and have to get set on an island so that you uh, don't throw off on the boat and make the kids sick. So I wonder if that's ever happened to anyone besides me. But when when we make waves, when we disturb other people's situation, that can be done in either a bad or a good way. Now how do you use that to grow and build and supersize your business? Well. I can think of at least three ways, but there's probably a, you know, a, a multitude of ways that you can use the ripple effect, which I think of the ripple effect, I think we look at making waves as negative because that's a disturbance, but ripple effect as more positive. It might just be me. With the ripple effect, we can cause, we, we act in a way and then there's consequences and there's results of every action that we take, not just in our businesses, but in our lives as well. So we can set forth a ripple effect of love and favor and gratitude and appreciation and customer service and whatever we want, or we can set off a ripple or a wave, making a wave because it seems like negatives come in waves and good things come in ripples. I, maybe that's just my imagination. But we can send off waves of negativity by worrying about doubt, fear, greed, jealousy, competition, things like that. It's entirely up to us as business owners, the culture that we're gonna create with and within our organization. How we treat our customers is one huge way to make waves in a positive way for the people that we serve. We're always planting seeds, right? We're always sowing seeds, we're always building relationships and we're either building them up or tearing them down. And we do that by communicating effectively with people, by paying attention to them, by finding out what they need and want and creating and providing that for them. We give what we wanna receive in value. We give value in order to receive what it is that we need and want for our business to work. Usually it's money, right? We, we give value, we provide services, we solve problems in exchange for money. We're never going to get more money in than we provide value out into the world. I think believe that's a, a universal law and it's the you know the law of return. We give what we want to receive. Another way to ensure that we're making ways in the right direction is we can cause disruptions and disturbances in our industry. And if we're on the leading edge of our industry, we want to be doing that. We want to be providing better customer service, better communication, better whatever it is our customers want for them than anyone else. And as long as we are continually serving them to the best of our ability, using the, the things that we're awesome at in our organization, we will be disrupting the industry and causing positive waves and ripples and changes in our business and in the lives of the people that we serve the, and the people that we're in partnership with. Our customers, are, are, of course, are the people we serve, but we also serve our vendors. We serve the communities that we live in by setting the example. Uh, and the other thought that comes to mind with making waves is we're either part of the solution, which most business owners are, we provide services and solutions to problems. We tend to be focused on the solution, but not everybody is focused on the solution. If we look at what's going on around us in the world right now, there are a whole lot of people focused on the problem or trying to get everyone to focus on the problem, which is the exact opposite of what we need to be doing, right? If we focus on the problem, we get more of the problem. If we focus on the solutions, we get more solutions and solutions come faster. So we can either be contributing to the problem and the conversations about the problems or the symptoms or the past. Talking about the past is a huge example of that. We need to learn the lessons that the past has to teach us and focus on using that to create solutions for whatever we're discussing that's ever going on. We do the same thing within our businesses. We've had, you know, problems and situations and that have happened in the past and we found ways to solve those and as we look at the past let's look for the solutions that have worked not let's look for problems that we can recreate in our reality today so 
make waves. I say go out, make waves. Make sure that you're making waves that are toward the solutions, though, and making the world a better place. You know, follow the golden rule. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Treat your customers the way you want to be treated. And you will be making ways to help you supersize and grow your business. That's our idiom for today. I would love to know your experience with the idiom making waves. You know, tell me your fishing stories. Tell me your, <laughs> your crazy wave stories. And share those in the comments below. If there's an idiom you would like to know the history or, or the meaning of, ask me that in the comments below too. I think we've done, uh, what is this, 468. So we've done a few more than that because I didn't start counting until I'd done them for a while. But 468 different idioms so far. Turns out there's like 20,000 in the English language alone. So there's a whole lot more that we can explore. And I like to tie them into what I'm doing with my business and my life because I think that's like, a positive step in the direction that we want to go and it's a way to continuously improve and develop and open our minds to what else is possible. Have an amazing day and I will of course be with you tomorrow.